All right, all right, all right. Now, before we get started, can you all put your business in the comment section? What is your business? Put that in the comment section for me, what your business is. Y'all can see me now, right? Put in the comment section what your, what your business is. And if you someone who's looking to network, check the comment section as everyone puts their business in the comment section. Tiffany, my aunt. So what I want you guys to do is not, not just the name, but what do you do? What problem do you solve? Um, you know, who do you help? Like, what is the business? What is the service that you deliver? I want you guys to be um, a little bit more detailed today so that if someone else may look at what you have to offer, you know, they may say, hey, I need to tap in with you. I need to inbox you. Maybe they'll inbox you here on the Zoom and get your number, okay? Now, everybody else who's not commenting, are y'all, do y'all don't, y'all don't own a business or maybe y'all still type in? I want to get some feedback from y'all. Let's see, what do you offer? What do you do? This is your chance. You got 20 some people in front of you. All right, now let's get started here. Um, I want to go over some I put together the other day first, actually. I'm going to go right here. Now, we're going to start here with what your gift is, okay? We're going to start with what your gift is because it didn't say money going to make room for you. It says your gift is going to make room for you. So your gift will make room for you is what it says. A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. What does that mean? Well, I got Brother Sean on my team. Shout out to Brother Sean. I, I want everybody to say thank you, Brother Sean, in the comment section. Brother Sean, man, has been one of the brothers ha that who has helped maintain digital real estate on the back end. He's one who has helped maintain the tribe, the first tribe. We got a tribe going now. But the first tribe, when we was handling other things in the business. Well, if anybody knows me, I'm not a person that loves to. Now, I'm not going to say I don't like meetings because I do as at, at the age I'm at now in the position I am now, I do see the very need for meetings, but I'm not the type of person that like to have the same type of meeting on a day to day basis if it's going to be something that I know. So that's not necessary. I like to be creative if it's not nothing talking about creativity and new plans. I'm not too interested in it, but Sean on the back end, he's like that glue where he's going to be talking to the team. He's going to be talking to the clients. He's going to be making sure on the day-to-day -day operations, what's going on on the back end is happening. Well, I'm the person who's going to be creative. I'm going to go influence. I'm going to go attract more people. I'm going to talk to the, uh, the, the new business deals to bring the new business deals in, and then he skin them. So what I learned is I'm a fisher, right? I found it. That's my gift. I know how to deliver a message, deliver it in a way that, I, that my people could understand, fish them in, and then it seemed like he going to skin them. So my gift has made room for me and then brought me amongst great men like Sean, who takes, who brings the strengths and add them to my weakness. So what I want you guys to do in the comment section right now is just tell me, what is your strength? See, because we all, I see we got training solutions. We got hair and skin care products, electrician. But all of these businesses, you can't do everything, do you? Do you do your taxes? Do you do your accounting? Do you do your financial? Do you email? Do you take in the emails? Do you take all of your phone calls? Do you do everything in your business? So I want you to put in the comment section right now, what is your strength? Because a business, it take a it take a lot of moving pieces for a business. I don't do the graphics. Sister Lisa on our team do the graphics. She make it look real good. Now I may come up with the concepts. The concepts may come from what I've taught, but I don't do the graphics. So what is your gift? What is your strength? I want you to put it in the comment section right now. Organizing, educating. Okay. 
So when we look at what our skill set is, we have to say, okay, this me, this my strength. But here's all the other avenues. Here's all of the other missing pieces in my business. I need to continue to grow, network, so I can get in contact with other great men. Now, sisters, y'all know in the scripture when it say great men, it doesn't, it's not leaving out the women. It ain't gender-based. Find you another woman, find you another brother who you can partner with to make this thing whole. Okay? Let's move forward. Now, here's typically where we are. We down here at the bottom. And many of us say, how many here today on this live because you're looking for some direction? Just put me, because if you're not, you might, this, this, might be the wrong, this might be the wrong live for you if you ain't looking for no direction. If you don't need nothing, this may not be the live for you. But many of us, we there at the bottom. And we're looking for direction to get to what? Our destination. So what I want you to do in the comment section right now is tell me, as far as social media is concerned, because y'all know this about social media, if you got here through the email, what destination are you trying to get to? In utilizing social media in today's time, okay, with your business, growing your sales, growing your impact, where are you trying to get to? And I want you to quantify, whether Ben, I'm trying to get to you know, a certain amount of money per month. Brother Ben, I just trying to get exposed to at least a thousand more people per month. Brother Ben, I'm trying to just learn how to create content to deliver my value. What destination are you looking to get to? Why are you here? Somebody says self-sufficiency. Okay. Share my service with my store. Okay, cool. Okay. But here's what I say. I can't give you any direction unless I know where you're going. Some of y'all have heard me say that. If I'm driving down the street, Brother LaVon and Brother David, if I'm driving down the, the street, Sister Denise, Brother Derek, and I say, hey, how do I get to what's the name? What y'all gonna tell me? Brother Donzel, if I drove up and I seen you on the side and I seen you at, at a little mall or something, and I rolled my, I rolled my window down and I say, Hey, Sister Erica, how do I get to what you're calling? What y'all gonna tell me? What you gonna say back? Put in the comment section what you're gonna say back. Tell me the directions that you're gonna give me. GPS. Well, even if I have my GPS, what am I gonna put in my GPS? See? But David say, where is that? The information, need an address. What's the name if we're going? Well, to me, that's the same thing with coaching. Brother Ben, how do I do this? How do I do? How do we? How do we? Hey, where you want to go? Because based on where you want to go, now that gives me insight on the direction I need to give you. But I'm going to tell you this. Many of us, we don't know where we want to go. And somebody, I don't know who it is, somebody just made something up in the comment section. They haven't been thinking about that for the past year, for the past month, where they really want to go. See, we throw out the word, I want to be free. We throw out the word financial freedom. We throw out the word self-sufficiency. But what does that look like for me? Have I added up all my expenses and said, you know what? This is the exact number that I need. This is the exact number that I need, but not financial freedom. See, so we have to be specific. Like I can't put in, uh, if I know I'm trying to go to a specific store, hey Siri, take me to the store. No, I gotta put in the exact address if I wanna go to the specific store. So when you're a business, as it pertains to social media, what is your address? So that we can do what? Reverse engineer. The first thing we have to do before we give direction is to reverse engineer. And to reverse engineer, that simply means, as you can see on the screen, to disassemble and examine or analyze in detail a product or device 
to discover the concepts involved and manufacture usually in order to produce similar, something similar. Well, we're not talking about a device here or a product, but we're talking about a, a, a person. We're talking about a, a process. Those who have been successful in where you want to go, what did they do to get there? 10,000 sales a month. Okay, now we got to ask ourselves, if I want 5,000 sales, if I want 500,000 followers, if I want 500,000 views per, per, per month, I want you to ask yourself and be honest in this comment section here today. Have you been doing what it takes to get 5,000 sales? Have we been doing on a daily basis to get 50 sales per day? Have we been doing what we know it takes to get 50,000 views per week? Keep it real. Put yes or no in the comment section. Just keep it real with ourselves. Man, I want to get a, I want to make $10,000 a month, brother. Yesterday, what did you do yesterday to get $10,000 in a month? What did we do yesterday to reach 50,000 more people? So I'm saying all this because when we give you all the blueprint in our course and our masterclass, I'm saying all that to say, brothers and sisters, if you don't apply it, it don't matter how many courses you buy. It don't matter how many mentors you have. It don't matter how many books you read. If I didn't apply the pages, me reading the books don't mean nothing. So I know we're here today and many of us want blueprints. We want strategies. We want tactics. But I just want to Put it back on your heart and your mind. It's some tactics that you already know, Sister Letitia, Brother LaVon, Brother David, Sister Tiffany. It's tactics and strategies and blueprints. You already know that we apply them yesterday. That we apply them Wednesday. That we apply them Monday. That we apply them last Sunday. How consistent have we been in the little piece of content creation that we know how to make? Brother Ben, I don't know how to put the words on the video yet. Do you know how to go live? Yes, sir. Did you go live yesterday? Did you go live Wednesday? Did we go live Tuesday? Brother Ben, I don't have a uh, 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 hundred followers, a thousand followers, 10,000 followers. Well, tell me how many people you got in your cell phone right now. Oh, I got about 300. How many did we call yesterday? Yeah, I know, I know, yeah, I know you come here to, you know, you trying to look at some, you thought I was going to talk about some content creation and marketing. No, I got to go, I got to start inside. Don't tell me what you don't know how to do on social media. You know how to pick up that phone and call somebody. You know how to shoot a text message. We got 500 people in our phone and we talking about we can't get no sales every week. How many people in my, in my phone have I sat down and talked to about my new business? Which one of them cousins have you sat down and called and said, what's going on, cuz? Say, Sister Tiffany, when the last time you called a family member, what's going on, Kimfo? Man, listen, I got this new business product. I would love to sit down and talk to you about it. Some of us be shy. Be feeling bad. Afraid, nervous. And our bank account reflects how nervous we be, how shy we be. We got to pick one. I know it's hard to call people cold call. I know it's hard when you ain't talked to somebody for months and you, you call the injury. I know it's hard, but it's also hard to be struggling with them bills. It's all, man, it's, it's, it's also hard to know that my business not growing. Sister Tiffany, when you say, no, nah, I feel I don't have that company, can you clarify what that means? When you say, I feel like I don't have that company. Brother Derek say, what if they not listening to your idea? Did you move on to the next one? Have you called all 500 of them? And then I'm going to say this here. If all 500 of them denied it, maybe it's your product. <laughs> now, that's a reality there. If all, if every last 300 people in your call said, nope, I don't know. I don't like this. Nope, that ain't it. No, I'm not it. Maybe it's your product. Maybe you got to fix your offer, which we're going to talk about here today. We're going to talk about how to create 
an attractive offer. She said, I feel like I don't. We're not talking. I didn't ask about no feelings now, sister. We talking about facts. See, I see, I feel like a million dollars, but my bank account actual facts say, boy, you ain't got no million in there right now. I feel good. But my doctor may say, boy, your liver toe up like a mug. I mean, come on now. We're not talking about feelings. No, 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 no. We're not talking about feelings. We're talking about how many people did I call on the phone and say, brother, I got this new product I would love to talk to you about. Can I get 10 minutes of your time? And then you come back and say, brother Ben, I talked to 50 people today. All 50 of them said they don't, they not interested. Now you can come in and say, well, I feel like, brother, this ain't the right. But if you ain't called 50 people yesterday, if you ain't called 50 people this week, there's no actual facts or data back in our statements. Maybe this is our own mind holding us back. Could that be true? Could it be that maybe our own mind is holding ourselves back? Could it be that I, when I hit up Sister Tequila, I said, nah, that sister ain't going to be interested in this program, so I'm not even going to call her. I'm not even going to text her. Could it be that she was waiting on the call? Could it be that she just came into some money? Could it be that she something just happened in her life and she's finally ready, but it was me that didn't want to make the call, but it was me that didn't want to text, but it was me that was answering for her, that it was me that was answering for Sister Alicia? Could it be me that I'm answering? I don't even know what they're going to say. Come on now. And I'm talking to myself when sales is low. How many people did you DM brother Ben and say, hey man, it's your brother Ben X, man. Can I talk to you? How many? And if I ain't did that, then I can't talk about how my business just ain't working because I ain't working the business. So I got to figure out where am I trying to go? And when I say, damn, I got to get 50 sales. Man, I can't depend on no mystery God to bring 50 sales in. I'm fired up here today, man. I'm because I'm talking to me too. This ain't this ain't this ain't this ain't me talking down to y'all. I'm lifting me up. It's days when I don't go without calling nobody. It's days when I don't text nobody. And then I look at my Stripe account and say, damn, sales is low. Yeah, you ain't putting no work in, boy. Y'all know what? I know it's some sisters in here. You be mad at your man. Your man got you some flowers last month. He ain't get you none this month. And here you is. You rolling your eyes at him. He like, listen, I did it last month. Yeah. What have you done for me lately? I don't care you had $10,000 in sales last month. You what you do this month. I don't care that you called 50 people last month. What did you do this month? I don't care that you posted 50 times last month. How many times you post this month? So I'm just giving us principles, y'all, and just really mindset right now, because before we do any strategy, we got to tackle this mindset that we got. Don't nobody, ain't, gonna, ain't nobody going to like this product. Ain't nobody going to like this service. Oh, no, they ain't. How you know that if you ain't come? And then here's what gets me, y'all. We talked to three people and three people said no, and we think our whole business messed up. You only talked to three people? You only talked to three people. So we got to reverse engineer. What do those people who are millionaires, what do they do? When you study the, the Grant Cardones of the world, have y'all seen him on YouTube where he's calling people? He say his company calls about over 500, 1,000 people per day. Now, you may not have a team to call that many people, but you can see how he has a lot of yeses because he's going through a lot of no's. But some of us, when we hear that first no, the first person hang up in our face, we shut down. These people got email lists that they emailing on a daily basis. When the last time you sent an email? They got text message lists. They texting me every, every other day. When the last time you sent a text? They making cold calls on a daily basis. When the last time you made a cold call? So if we want to get to these certain places, $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 a month, what are we doing that shows through our actions I want to get there?
All right, family. I'm done fussing at us. I say us because I again I'm talking to me. But I hope, man, I don't know. I don't know. I know. I hope I'm not boring y'all. I hope I'm not taking y'all away from the point of this webinar. But I, it was just on my spirit to start like that today. It was just on my spirit. I said, man, we need to start like this here today. So I hope that helps somebody. It may not help all 25 of y'all, but I hope one person say, man, I, I needed that, man. I needed that little boost. And if I did, praise be to Allah. So listen, we're going to go to this next one here. Okay. Now we're going to get to where I know what y'all came for. We're going to get into the, to the offer. We'll get into the offer. Many of us got products and service, family. See, brother Lorenzo, he know how to cut up a flyer for you. He gonna make that fly. He gonna make it look good on that flyer. But depending on how we present our product and our service, although we may be good at it, we may not be attracting the people because of the way we present it. See, there are things that we have that if we just added on to it, if we presented it a certain way, ooh, man, if I presented it like this, we may have gotten more people. So what we're going to talk about shortly here today is how to name and sell our service, like how to create a real undeniable offer. Okay? So what, what, what's the components of an undeniable offer? We want to focus on the destination, not the process. This is about 90% outcome, 10% delivery. What do you mean by that, Brother Ben? This can be a course, a workshop, a boot camp, one-on-one, done-for-you service. You want to tell them about the outcome, not the delivery. What do you mean? If you're selling me on going to the Bahamas, you shouldn't say, all right, y'all, all you got to do, go to the airport, we'll get you an Uber, pay for the Uber, go to the airport, you're going to stand in line, you're going to get checked in, you got to take your shoes off, you got to go through TSA, you got to wait, uh, wait on your plane, wait at the gate, board the gate, and we're going to travel for about two hours, and we're going to be at the, look at all that. Now, all that is true. I have to take all those steps. But how do they promote the Bahamas to us? Oh, you're going to be on a nice beach. Oh, it's going to be sunny. You're going to be eating that. You're going to be drinking that pina colada. It's going to be a virgin pina colada. Oh, that breeze is going to feel so good with the ocean breeze, with the water. See, they, got, they, they make us think about the outcome. They make us think about the destination where we going. We don't, they don't put all of the details and all that's going to be in there. They're thinking about how can I attract them by telling them the end product. How to lose weight, how to lose 30 pounds in 60 days without getting overwhelmed. See, that sounds good, don't it? But if I said, hey, Come to my workout class. We're going to go, we're going to work out two times a week. You're going to be sore the first day. And first day, you're going to be sore. You're going to have to change your diet. You're not going to eat this. You can't eat this. You can't eat that. Oh, no, I'm not joining this program. Oh, ooh, no, it's too much. But if I just say, hey, join my program, you're going to learn how you can lose 30 pounds in 60 days without feeling overwhelmed. Now I'm going, I'm, I'm getting that program and I get the details on the inside. But sometimes we're overwhelming them with the delivery. We're overwhelming them with the process. And that's what makes people go away. So in my program, with the starting with the Attractive Marketing Secrets, we're going to show you how to increase your impact, which will lead to increasing your income through consistent content in 60 days. That's what we offer with our Attractive Marketing Secrets. That's what we offer. With digital real estate, if you really got a service, if you really got a business that's really effective and you're not using social media properly, when you get inside this class, you're going to learn how to properly use social media to increase your impact almost immediately in that same week, which will lead to you increasing your income through our also sales training. That's what we offer. So let's move forward. So here's the main ingredients that you want to have. Okay. When it comes to your offer, you want to have your main offer. And then you want to add some bonuses 
and then you want to add some limits. So what does that look like? Bonuses are products and services you add uh, that you add for that day, one time offer or a limited time. Bonuses are other things your customers may need. Bonuses should relate to the main offer. For example, one of our bonuses may be, and on a weekly basis, you're going to get live coaching call with us directly. What objection is that handling? Well, I don't know. Can anybody walk me through? I don't know if I can do this by myself. Well, as a bonus, you're going to get live coaching. Well, Brother Ben, I know how to create content and all that, but man, I kind of struggle with selling, man. I'm a, oh, by the way, one of our bonuses is our sales training. See, so your bonus is going to handle the objections that people may have about your main offer. Does that make sense? Put yes in the comment section if that makes sense. And do anybody need help with their offer? If anybody need help, just press one and let's do it live in front of everybody. Let's craft your offer and see how we can add these elements to your offer. Anybody need help? Press the number one. Let's see. Let's see if we can uh, put together a nice offer for you. Anybody need help? Just press one in the comment section if you would like to unmute yourself. And we can go over. It. Okay, everybody sound like y'all. It seemed like y'all. I guess y'all got it. I guess y'all got it. So your main offer, that's your product, that's your service, what you're delivering. You want to make sure you got some bonuses on there that's going to handle whatever, whatever else they think they may need, that, that they may need. And then you want to add some limits. So, so Tiffany, go ahead, unmute yourself. Hey. Can you hear me? Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I have my I had my audio down. Go ahead and say it again. Okay, so you can hear me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I need help with. That's where I'm stuck at, just creating content and um, knowing how to deliver. So, what, so what's your offer? What's your business offer? Okay, so um, I have hair and skincare products. I'm currently writing an ebook, um, uh, intro to to clean eating ebook, and I have a podcast. So, like, I know what it is that I enjoy doing, what I would like to be doing, but I don't know how to present it to others to make sales from it. So, what's your main offer? My main offer would be my products. Yeah. So, tell me if I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing about your products. So, if you introduce me to your to your offer, what is it? I have a uh, hair and skincare product. So the main product would be my hair growth oil that I use on my clients. And then I have like six other products outside of that, but I don't know if that would be doing too much. Like, should I just focus on that one? Cause I also have body, body uh, butters. I have face, uh, face moisturizer and cleanser. And what's your ebook about? That is an intro to holistic or clean eating. Does clean eating help with your skin? Yes. Okay. Um, what is this? What is this skincare product called? Well, I just my Tiffany Maat. Like I don't have any. Uh, I just put in everything under my LLC, so I don't have no specific. So, what, so I'm buying. I'm what? What am I buying when I go to the website? What What do mm -hmm. I buy for the skin product? Is it just called skin product? Uh, yeah, it's a skin moisturizer and a skin cleanser. Okay. And what? why am I buying this? Uh, to have beautiful skin, to have healthy skin. How long I'm going to have to use this skin uh, to, to get beautiful skin? on a daily basis along with a healthy diet of course you uh you covering your microphone oh uh as long as you would like on a daily basis uh of course combined with a healthy diet and when should and i when, start, when should i start to see improvements in my skin in a few days three to five days what what improvements will i see <laughs> okay <laughs> this is so uh 
I don't know where. Okay. Um, softer skin, even tone, um, clearer skin from acne. Okay. Here at Tiffany My Eye, we offer skincare products that softens your skin, clears your acne. Um, what's the other thing? Even out your tone? Even tone. Mm -hmm. So here at Tiffany My Eye, we have a... Do you, do you make it yourself? See, here at Tiffany My Eye, we have a, a homemade... Uh, we have a home, we have a homemade skincare product that helps you, that helps you get soft skin, even tone, and removes even your acne within seven days. Along with this product, it comes with an ebook on health and eating healthy eating, because we know that along with because uh, we know that the way that we eat also affects our skin, but well, most people don't know what to eat. So for a limited time, you can get Tiffany Maat's skincare package for only forty nine. See, so that would be a that would be mm -hmm. an offer. Mm -hmm. You're just saying skincare product. I don't know what it's gonna do. I don't right. know when it's gonna do it. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna do it. Uh, I don't know how you made it. <laughs> And then I'm saying, okay, so she got the skincare product. Oh, then she, then it come with the book. Cause I know I'm going to have to eat right. Dang, it come with the book and it's a limited time offer. Uh, you got 14 days to get it. Now that's going to make me want to buy because I know the end game is beautiful skin. I got some acne. So that's going to be gone. Who is going to even out my tone. Okay. So now I know exactly what I'm going to get from buying her product. Now I'm interested in buying, but just saying, hey, got that Tiffany. I got that Tiffany skin stuff for you. That ain't going to make me buy. Right. right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's how you would craft your offer. Think about the end game. What are they going to get? Where are they going to be after using my product? What mm -hmm. bonus can I add to make it a little bit sweeter? And then what's my limited time? Good, good. Okay, those three right there. Yeah, I feel. I feel like I've just learned something. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to do that demonstration with you. You're welcome. All right. Does that make sense for everybody? Did y'all see how we did that? Does it make sense now, everybody? If it does, put yes. See, these are just simple things, right? that we do on social media and we say, oh, I don't need social media marketing. I don't need that program. I don't need that. But these are just psychological things that, that I'm telling y'all it get worse. I'm not, I'm not saying you, that was bad sister, but I'm saying it's some people, they don't even explain at all what they product do. And they are in there every day, posting online, posting, 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 and they doing it wrong. And they wonder why I'm not getting no sales, why I'm not converting. It's because yeah, you making videos, but what is the message in the video? Yes, you're making content, but there's a way to even make content. There's a structure to making content. Don't just post three to five times a day. Yeah, we want you to post three to five times a day. But inside of the program, we show you what needs to be in the product. I'm sorry, in the post. Okay. So. Let's look at it. The bonuses should do a few things. The bonus should handle objections. So address objections or concerns your buyers might have about the main offer. It should complement. So don't just add on a product just to add on to it. So if I'm buying Sister, uh, Sister Tiffany's skincare, she can't add on, oh yeah, it, it also come with a toe ring. Listen, I, what they got to do with some skin? Toe ring? No, so you want it to complement your main offer, not just throw some in, just to throw some in. So it should always complement your main offer. Don't throw bonuses in just to throw them in. And then it should be unbelievable. It should add so much value to the offer that it seems too good to be true. Man, I get that. Oh man, and they come with that. Oh my goodness. Oh, it come with that too. So let me give y'all a formula. 
Let me give y'all a formula. If you're not getting sales, if you're struggling with getting sales right now, press the number one. If you're struggling with getting consistent sales right now, just press the number one and I'm going to see if I can help you out. This is what we have to do. You have to offer. Listen closely. And I know right now you're thinking about the future. You think about all the time. If you're not getting consistent sales right now, you just got to add more to your offer until they start saying yes. I know that sounds so simple. Just add more to the offer. When I, hey, if you ain't getting a lot of people that's booking you to do your flyers, hey man, when you get one flyer, it come with two flyers. Let's see if they bite on that. Hey man, when I do this, I also give you a free PNG that you can use for, uh, for a t-shirt. See, you just add on to the offer until you start hearing people say, oh, I like that. I like that. And then you find, so many of us, we think about, well, how do I scale that? Where about that when you get there? You sitting here talking about how do I scale and you ain't got two sales talking about how do I scale? You got two, you ain't got two sales yet. Once we start getting that many sales, then we can start to say, oh, I got enough money now to pay somebody to scale. Then we start to refine it. Okay, that's what they doing. Okay, now when they come in, they saying yes, but I'm noticing they're not really using this piece. So now let me change my offer for the future. We're going to take that off, shave that off. Boom. Here go the perfect offer. Let me put that back out there. Then you start to see, ooh, that's, that's the one. So I may say, hey, man, hey, I got a course on digital real estate. Uh, they ain't really biting. Well, we got a course, and it's also going to come with an ebook and a free 30-minute consultation with me where I can look at your business directly. Ooh, they may like that. Hey, let me sign. Okay, now I'm seeing they signing up. Okay, I need to probably add a live piece to that. Okay, I probably need to add some ebooks to that. So continue to add on to your offering until you start to see people biting. Okay, hey, I seen that post you made. Hey, I seen that offer you made. Right now, some of us, we just not putting out the right offer yet. That's all. We're not putting out the right offer. Okay. Okay, so here's an example. My product is digital real estate, my course. The objection may be, ah, yeah, brother Ben, but I'm not good with making content. But, but as a bonus, you get content templates where all you got to do is plug and play. Y'all see how that works? My product is digital real estate, showing you how to grow your business online. But if somebody thinking, well, brother Ben, I'm not that good at making content. No problem. One of our bonuses, we got content templates that's already made for you. Do y'all see how the bonus was able to handle whatever objection they may have? Oh, yeah, you ain't, we already got that covered. Don't worry about it. Is this making sense? And so what I want you guys to do is think about how can I do this for my business? What are the main things that people are saying that's maybe stopping them? from getting my product. And then you add that in as a bonus. And I'm going to say this, my insight came from me putting in work. We got to put in some work. Some of y'all have had free consultations with me. Anybody had a free consultation with me? You didn't even have to pay for it. I, my time is very valuable, but I had to do that. And I really help people. I don't get on there and just get them some little bogus game. I really get on and whatever they need. I try to help them out as much as I can with the time that I have. But I'm gaining data and insight of my business and my customers when I do that. I'm looking up under the hood. Hey, let me see your social media page. Okay. Now, what's your mindset when you, why, why are you only posting once a week? Okay. That's what they think. Okay. 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 And then why is this like this? And then why is this like this? So I'm getting insight on my customers because if I'm, if I'm here to serve them, I need to understand them. So it may take y'all doing some free consultations so that you can gain some data. So Sister Tiffany, everybody may not want the skin for acne. They may have another reason. You know, hey, I'm dealing with uh, uh, rashes. You may say, oh, a lot of my audience actually got this little rash. Maybe I need to add that in my marketing. Hey, it, 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 it smooths out your skin. It helps out with rashes. Oh, if, but you will never know what your audience really want. And what they need unless we start to get data and insight for them. So when you're doing a free console, you're saying, so what have you been looking at 
you know, what's some 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 lotions you've been looking at for your for your for your skin? Well, you know, I got a, I really got dry skin. And then somebody else say they got dry skin. There's somebody else. Then you say, oh, okay. They haven't been buying because I've been promoting acne. They don't got acne and blackheads. They got dry skin. Let me change my marketing. Got it? So it may take us some time to figure out what's needed to attract them. See, the acne may be what we needed. The act, you know, something else may be for our close friends, but majority of my audience, they may have a whole nother reason that they need the skincare. And they don't even know that you can still get it with my product, but we don't know because we haven't asked. Make sense, family? If this makes sense, put yes. As we close out, we have to close out. Just put yes in the comment section. Now, for those who are wondering, for those who's wondering, these are things that we offer in our attractive marketing secrets. This type of teaching, this type of insight inside the classes, this is what you want to get. So if you want to sign up for just 97 instead of starting at 2,222, which our program usually is, you can get it now for, you can start at $97. You're going to get over $19,000 worth of value starting at $97. We got sales training in there, operations training in there, content creation in there, marketing, the whole nine. This type of, this is what we gave y'all today. This is just a, I just want to share all an example of why marketing is much deeper than just, okay, I'm going to just post on social media. No, there's strategy behind this. Um, before we close, do we have anybody here that learned something? that got something from the beginning when I was talking about mindset or the offer uh, that's willing to share how this was helpful for you. If, if, if anybody, I, I just like to, you know, if we're going to do these free classes, I like to just get some feedback from people like, Hey man, did you learn anything? What was it? Is there anybody that's willing to go? If y'all, if y'all really to share press one, I want you to come on, introduce yourself, let everybody know what your business is. And if you don't mind just sharing your feedback on what you got, from the class. Uh, Brother A. Rich Education, you mind coming on and sharing? Uh, make sure you introduce yourself. Let us know what your business is and get your feedback on today. Absolutely. Absolutely, Brother Ben. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaikum Yes, sir. Oh, wow, man. And um, I've been blessed to jump on a few platforms. It was the offer. That was the key thing. The offer. Putting the offer together in a systematic way where people are going to hear what they want to hear. And as I've been getting from you for the last few months, brother Ben, the more you give, people are most definitely willing where you don't even have to sell anything. You have a capture page, you have a website, they're going to go on and buy. So it's the offer that I got. And I, you've probably said it plenty of times, dear brother, but I missed it. So it's the offer. And that's what I got. And I can't wait to go put one together. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Brother, thank you, brother, sir. Lorenzo, thank you, brother Lorenzo. You want to come on and share? Yes, sir, brother Ben. Thank you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. May you be continually successful in what you're doing, brother. And I appreciate your advice. Um, I have a couple of business. Uh, I have my own. Uh, hold on one second. I have my own uh, low voltage electrical company called Global Dynamics Communication Group mm -hmm. uh, that deals with electrical and uh, some networking. And I'm also involved in a, a network marketing company uh, called GS Partners, where we teach people how to save their money and get some real nice returns, uh, rate of returns on their money that they save. But uh, what I found out is you mentioned it. Um, Sometimes I over I, I waterboard people with too much information. Yep. And instead of just going to the end result, I overload them with how they're gonna get to their destination. You know, you're gonna get on the plane, you gotta go through TSA. That was an excellent example, brother. Praise be to Allah. Thank you, brother, for your feedback. Yes, sir. Sister Sister Tequila, you on? You wanna come on and share? Assalamu alaikum. Yes, sir. Um, praise be to Allah. This was 
very informative. I really appreciate all your hard work, Brother Bien. Um, it was actually really simple advice. And I was actually um, putting something together myself to try to market and promote my book. And I get tired of social media all the time. But you made it so simple. Um, I do um, disaster preparedness. And I just launched my ebook as well as a uh, print copy of my disaster preparedness book. And so just um, giving them something free, adding something on and not having to, you know, post, 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 but actually giving them something to where they're looking forward to, you know, coming back with you and telling others. So I do appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Sister, uh, Sister Leticia, am I saying that right? You want to come on and share? I, I'm probably saying that wrong. No, that's probably right. Sister Leticia. Sister Leticia. Sister Leticia. It's probably Leticia. I'll be, I'll be messing the names up. Sister Leticia, uh, Leticia, you there? So what about uh, Sister Erica? Want to come on and share? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yes, sir, Brother Ben. Um, as I put in the chat, you know, every time I am blessed to enter your class, I've always took, you know, many things away from it. And in, and also your emails that you send, they, they are very helpful and very informative. And um, I don't want you to think I'm, I'm, I'm ungrateful and, you know, because I'm, I haven't quite joined yet, but it's just I'm swamped. I'm swamped, and when I can clear my table a little bit, I'm going to jump in there. But right now, I'm swamped. It's not about money. It's not about money. It's just about time. And I, and that's, I can't go off into it, but that's my issue today. <laughs> Man, yes, ma'am. No problem. You, brother. Thank you for everything that you do. Praise be to Allah. Thank you for your feedback. Mm -hmm. All right, family. So we're going to go ahead and close out. Uh, I thank everybody for being here today. I hope you all got something of value. If you want to join our Attractive Marketing Secrets and get started with our digital real estate training, go to www.drecourses.com and I will see you guys next time. Peace.